The two grid works behind me are two of my earliest works in this particular um, project. They are called Last Mile to Any Place 1 and 2. I use the grid structure in these works particularly because my camera motion is left to right. And as the eye travels left to right, you're giving the viewer permission to exit the image. You go from left to right and you leave the image. But by using grids, when you leave this piece, we go here and then we go there and then we go there. So I feel like the grid structure um, talks to the idea of repetition. It talks to the idea of some organization amidst the, um, the chaos. It talks to the idea of recurrence, of course. Um, and they're intended to be a partner piece, although they are available separately. But for me, it's really important to look at them together, given the dark and the light, the yin and the yang, um, the hope and the trauma. To me, they speak very well to that. And what I was trying to accomplish with these works, which I made on the back of a train on the last mile of train track into Sobibor concentration camp, but by virtue of using underexposure and overexposure, by using this intentional camera movement to create some blur, the idea was really to abstract from the particularity of place and to remind us that very easily that place can become any place. Hence the title, Last Mile to Any Place 1 and 2.